Hey there and welcome to my video segment, Porn Pedagogy in 5 Minutes or Less. Today we'll be discussing proper articulation on the horn, more specifically, the accent articulation. Clean and accurate articulation is a very important factor that separates students from professionals. When contemplating proper technique for articulation on the horn, we must first consider a few things. We have to first look at the style printed, whether it be accent, legato, staccato, etc., or the consonant that begins the note, as well as the duration, or the note shape. Note shape should be either rectangle or right triangle shaped, meaning that the beginning of the note is the loudest part of the note, and the note either continues at the same duration of sound or decays slightly. The note should never be shaped like a football, where the beginning of the note is less loud than the middle or the end of the note. A word of caution, however. The airstream that supports every note should be the exact same as the slurred articulation. There should never be a break in the stream of air. The tongue should simply interrupt it in different periods or different fashions depending on the style printed. We have to remember that composers use accents to make certain notes in melodies more important than others, not necessarily as a dynamic marking. This means that we can play accented notes in a piano passage that are never quite forte. <laughs> would represent a piano passage where the A was accented, but never quite forte, versus a full forte passage where all the notes are equally as important. And they were still louder than any notes played in the piano passage. So let's break it down a little bit further. Let's think about what we should be physically doing when we see an accent. The air should be placed exactly behind the tongue, ready to go as soon as the tongue releases it. That will have an instant action of air as soon as the note has begun, which is why the beginning of the note is slightly louder than the rest of the note, producing the accent. Thanks for tuning in. Next time we'll be discussing the staccato articulation.